ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I want to also talk about this situation with Nikki because Nikki has been trending the past few days here. Um, So if y'all don't know, Kai Sinat. Right, we all know he's like one of the biggest gamers out here. Kai is doing his thing. And so he's been bringing a lot of celebrities on his platform. This is how, like I've been saying for a while, um, the celebrity lifestyle, celebrities, musicians, all that shit is dying. Let me just keep it real. The industry is dying. This is why all these uh, artists want to be podcasters and YouTubers and shit like that. They all want to do commentary. Because the music ain't selling like it once was selling. And a lot of them are now running to gamers. If this was like four or five years ago, you would never see Drake, you know what I'm saying, slumming, quote unquote, with a gamer. You would never see, you know, Offset. You would never see any of these guys trying to be around a gamer. But because his platform now is so big, he gets so many eyes on him. He makes millions of dollars in endorsements. Like, let's keep it real. Folks, content creators make more than some of these rappers. Let's keep that shit real. You know what I'm saying? So while a lot of them sit online in front, you know, fake jewelry and lease cars, you know, content, content creators are out here, you know what I'm saying, paying for shit in cash. So a lot of people have been running to Kai Sinat because he has a big platform. He's tied into the youth. And so, you know, Nikki did the same thing with her album rollout. She went to Kai's house and they were living it up. They did a whole live stream together. Um... Let me share my screen real quick here. All the barbs are in the house. Y'all better be in here showing me love, barbs, because... And shout out to the barbs who liked in my review on my podcast. I had quite a few barbs tell me that they were grateful for my review, that I was fair, because I did like the album. You know what I'm saying? I may not be no big fan of Nicki, but I'm, I'm going to give respect where respect is due. And the album is hitting. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely listening to the album. So thank you to the barbs who, you know, just, just sent me nice words of encouragement. You know what I'm saying? The weirdos can keep kicking rocks. But, you know, to the ones who rock with me, I appreciate y'all. I'm glad y'all enjoyed the podcast. So... Let me go ahead and share my screen about the uh, watch Kai and Nikki real quick. So this was them the other night at Kai's house. So Nikki was having a good old funky time. I, I might have to go through some of these kind of quick because the music. So a lot of people were saying that Nikki was acting cringy because she's old. We're going to get on that in a minute. Okay, hold on, let me, hold on, let me not get in it, okay? I love this song. Let me, okay, hold on before they shut down my stream, okay? Because I told y'all she got so many songs on her album that are, they're just bangers, I'm sorry, okay? Let me remember, I'm live, I can't be playing her music. Okay, next. Kai's funny though, he's a mess. <laughs> I can only show so much. Hold on. I want to see the one. I think this is where the part where she's twerking. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> And then she like tried to kick him in the face. And then this this is another one that's going viral. Where she remember me and Emily were talking about on the podcast where she was sending shots at Megan. So this is going viral as well. Hold on, let me share this tab. Yes! 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 So again, still throwing shots at Megan. She says, stay in your Tory Lanez, bitch. I'm not Iggy, okay? We talked about that on the podcast, if you listen to the podcast on Spotify. So, you know, to me, she was having a good old funky time. Now, let me say this, okay? Because I noticed it is very interesting 
how all of a sudden there's all this age shaming. There's all this conversation about age saint shaming. I think Justine Sky wrote a whole dissertation about people shaming Nikki. You know, they're saying Nikki's too old to be acting like that. She was doing too much. You know, um, you know, you 41, you over here running around with 21 year olds and all this stuff. It's very funny now that all of a sudden everybody, you know, is so concerned about the age shaming. Let's keep this real, okay? People keep saying that Nikki's not acting her age. She's 41. I'm going to say this. I don't think there's like a way that you got to act just because you're 40, right? You know, a lot of us got young spirits, got young energy, you know what I mean? All that. I think for me, I do find it interesting. It's hard for me to feel bad when people do call her old because, again, she did the same thing to little Kim. And that's what I always tell young people. You know what I'm saying? Like, quit trying to call people old because you're going to be old one day, God willing. You know what I'm saying? You better hope you get to be my age and look this good, bitch. Okay? Or Nicki Minaj's age and look that good. But it's very interesting, though. You know, now that Nicki is 41, you know, Drake is older. And not everybody wants to talk about age shaming. But when I be keeping it real, you old ass bitch. Fuck you, you old lady. And it's like, hold up. If I'm old, your face are old. If I'm old, Nicki Minaj is old. If I'm old, Lil Wayne is old. If I'm old, Drake is old. Because we all around the same age, poo. Okay? Y'all forget, 40 is not the new 20. 40 is just 40. Okay? And there's no age limit to me when it comes to, like, just having fun and clowning and hanging out. I hang with all types of young people. Y'all know when y'all come to my events, it be all types of age ranges. You know what I'm saying? And I be over there dancing with the little young people. You know what I mean? Twerking, having my little fun. So it's not about an age. It's about, you know what I'm saying, how you feel. And as long as you taking care of yourself and you're healthy and everything else, that's all that should matter. So I hate when people act like there's a cap on having fun or people are too old to do certain things and stuff like that. But again, I think she should have remembered that when she was addressing little Kim back in the day. That's why I got on DJ Academics ass when he was talking about Kenneth Petty. I'm no fan of Kenneth Petty when he's like, oh, these niggas is old. Shouldn't you be getting a colonoscopy? It's like DJ Academics, you're not that much younger. You about five, maybe seven, at the most, ten years younger. So that's what I'm saying. Like, we need to stop acting like, you know, like, all of a sudden getting old is a bad thing. What is the opposite of getting old? Death. If you don't get older, you're dead. You know what I'm saying? So I think, like, people need to, like, understand that, um, that eventually everybody's going to get old. Is there a certain way that you should carry yourself, you know, once you get of a certain age? Should you have a certain mindset? Of course. But I think that environment was just them having fun, you know, in a fun environment. And that's just how Kai Sinet gets down. Because even when he did his stream with Offset, they were in there dancing, having a good time, clowning. That's just his stream. Why would you be in a room with Kai and just sit there and be the old head with your arms crossed? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, that's not his energy. Like, that's what he does. All he does is sit around and dance all damn day. You know what I mean? So, I thought it was funny. Somebody said AK is 35. Damn, I didn't know he was that old. He be talking like he 25. So now let's go ahead. Uh, she also was into it with Elliot Wilson. Because Elliot Wilson, a lot of these uh, news outlets are filling away like the legitimate um, mainstream news outlets, mainstream hip hop outlets are definitely filling away because, again, a lot of these artists are not coming to them as much. They're going to other outlets now to promote their music. They're going to gamers and they're going to, you know, YouTubers and things like that. So Elliot Wilson felt a way about this. All right. So this is Elliot Wilson. And so he, he deleted it, but he was like um, hip hop journalism. And then he posted like a, the picture and video of Nikki twerking on Kai and his friends or whatever. So Nikki says, Elliot, if you would spit Jay-Z's peen out for one second, you'd be happy for newcomers. You'd be, hold on. Isn't that how y'all try to tarnish my image by saying I'm not welcoming new bitches in? Did songs with them though. Why you not happy for a young black man like 
Kai, tomorrow, bitch. And then what was so funny, child, people started tagging me because the Shade Room also posted this. And guess whose video, honey? Because y'all know TT been here for a while, got all the receipts. Guess whose video the Shade Room used? They made sure to tag me after they were called out. But yeah, my video of DJ Envy from 2019. Was playing music, but basically they're admitting to not playing her music. Like, you know, her music being blacklisted. So I just thought it was cute, you know what I'm saying, that they had posted, you know what I'm saying, my shit on the Shade Room. You know, so I'm like, y'all had to comment, like, hold up, not my logo being used. And I guess once they see my comment, they went and, you know, gave me my credit. Okay? So she ended up going off. I'm on Elliot Wilson, so we're gonna go ahead and watch that really quick. Let me no, hold on. Let me share this tab. All right, we're gonna watch this real quick. Any tweets I've seen you post disrespecting me, Elliot Wilson? All of y'all, for some reason, when y'all are around certain people, y'all feel that y'all have this power. Oh, I didn't know he came on Drake. I didn't. I didn't even know that. I didn't. I'm. A, I must have missed it. I. I promise you. Came on Drake for what? Came on Drake for what? Somebody owes you shit, ho, nigga. Fuck you. Why? When y'all have an affiliation to Jay Z. In, in some, some sort, sort of way, way. y'all be thinking that y'all can, can disrespect and violate. Hmm? 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 Huh? Girl, all right. <laughs> I guess Nikki Chow, she went all hyped, was like, fuck you, and then just said, huh, huh, hmm. Like, girl, spit it out, shit. <laughs> Y'all know I have no patience. Get to the damn point. If you're going to drag, drag, okay? <laughs> Don't get me hyped and then shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, what the hell? She's just sitting there. So anyways, that's what she had to say to Elliot Wilson last night. <laughs> right, that was very awkward. I'm like, <laughs> continue, shit. <laughs> She forgot what she was about to say. Jay-Z out here catching straight pow, pow, pows. <laughs> and then she was like, oh, he said something about Drake. So I'm thinking she about to go in. Then just a long, awkward pause. I'm thinking the video froze. I'm looking at the fucking thing, clocking and shit. Like, is it still working? Oh, no, Nikki's thinking. Girl. But you know, once you get up there in your 40s, honey, huh, you, you get brain freezes and shit like that. You get brain fog. So I'm not mad at her. I be going through it. That's why I be telling y'all, like, hold up, what's the name of such and such? Y'all go ahead and type it up in the thing. You know what I'm saying? It's brain fog. I get it. You know what I'm saying? You got to take vitamin D3, baby. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> but yeah, she went in. And um, I agree, I feel like a lot of the legacy media, they are definitely feeling away, you know what I'm saying? Because these YouTubers are getting, you know, big interviews. They're getting interviews that they're not getting. But again, um, you know, we allow celebrities to come on our platform and be themselves and feel comfortable. And it feels more at home. It's not as structured and things like that. So, you know, I see why they're upset. And, you know, like she said, years ago, like what was that, the Queen album, they literally blacklisted her. So why would she want to go around doing mainstream press? It doesn't make sense. Y'all yeah, weren't rocking with her, you know, a few years ago. So she's going to go and rock with the young people, you know? And Kai Sinat, he has that fan base. I think they said it was like over 300,000 people in the live stream. You know, like shit. I be getting close to 10,000 and be boosted. But damn, 300,000? You can't pay for that type of promo. 
So it's smart to go towards other venues. It's smart to go, you know what I'm saying, towards other content creators if you want your stuff to be seen. So I'm not mad at her for going over there. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.